Good morning. It's Thursday, June 30th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, Paul's Conundrum, and our scripture is Romans chapter 7, where the apostle writes, I have discovered this principle of life, that when I want to do what is right, I inevitably do what is wrong. I love God's law with all my heart, But there is another power within me that's at war with my mind. This power makes me a slave to the sin that's still within me. What a miserable person I am. Who will free me from this life that's dominated by sin and death? Thank God the answer is in Jesus Christ our Lord. So you see how it is. In my mind, I really want to obey God's law. But because of my sinful nature, I'm a slave to sin. One of the dictionary definitions of the word conundrum is a riddle, or a question asked for amusement, typically one with a pun in its answer. A second definition is a confusing and difficult problem or question. Paul's conundrum has none of the first definition. There is little humor in struggling with sin. Doing the one thing you hate the most and not doing what you really want to do because it's the nature of darkness drawing you to it with all the power of hell behind it. Paul's conundrum is the second type, a confusing and difficult problem. And the question behind it, why can't I do better than this? In short, it's a living hell. Paul's conundrum is also ours. Somewhere between the cradle and adulthood, most everyone with a reasonable grip on reality begins to understand this most awkward of life's realities. You know you were created for better than what you do. And you also know you can't help yourself. It's like that with a chocolate-covered payday bar that's been sitting on my desk since my birthday three days ago that I do not want to eat, yet I want to eat it more than my next breath. If I had any sense about my weight and health, I might be able to take one bite and put the balance in the fridge for the next week's bite. It would last a month or six weeks, and I would need that long to burn off the extra sugar thinking about doing some exercise which is another thing tied to Paul's conundrum. But I digress. Paul's condition, that which led him to label himself the worst of all sinners, is an unanswerable riddle, a plague in the life of everyone in Adam's lineage. Paul agonized over his desire to do good and the eventual result of messing up again and again. And if you can say with a straight face that you've never encountered that in your personal experience, well, you haven't lived long enough, you haven't sinned big enough, or honestly come face to face with reality of the human condition. Hang around a little longer, think a little deeper, and keep your eyes open. You will see the DNA of your personal goodness come untangled at some point. But the good news of Paul's and our condition is... When you ask the same question, who will deliver me from this hell? There is and always has been in the heart and loving kindness of God's plan an answer for any who are willing to bend a knee. The answer is Jesus Christ. He will be the power that overcomes sin for you because he knows you cannot do it by yourself. For you today. If you haven't bumped into this question or conundrum, you either haven't been honest or you've not been listening. It's there, and it's related to whatever troubling behavior and nagging guilt exists in the back of your mind. And God has provided the only remedy for what ails you. 1 John 1, nine. If we confess our sins to Him, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all wickedness. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.